Lakwadi has been giving you gifts. Ah, your bathing water is ready. From Aku village. The village of Lapade, where someone here may be going very, very soon. Watch your mouth. <laughs> well, Ajun is engaged to Shakpara, but they are not married yet, though. Not married yet? Why? My father and the men were discussing it last night. They said Ajun's parents refused to set a date for the wedding. Ah, that is strange. After collecting money from Shakpara and his family, some of the men also said that it is because Ajun's parents doesn't have money to spend on the marriage. You know, because of the bad harvest we have everywhere this year. Oh, that is sad. I pity the girl. But some of the men also said that it is because Ajun is already a broken pot. Eh? God forbid. <laughs> that her parents have come to discover that she's no longer a virgin. I would not want to go through the shame of sending a broken pot to another family. But Ajun did not look to me like a loose girl. I thought so too. And how will you know that? She don't live in the same village. But what will happen now? Who knows? I don't think anybody knows the truth in all this. But some of the men said that Ajun's parents have come to know that Shakpara has a history of leprosy in his family. Leprosy! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I think Ajun is lucky. Lucky? Yes. She's lucky that her parents realized this on time, before she joins the family of Leopard. But just think of what Ajun will be going through now. To love a man so much, and yet not be able to become his wife. That's true. That's true. Like I said, who knows the truth in all this? It has nothing to do with us. They are not from our village and they are not from our farm. Keep working. Akiwale, my leader. Forget leadership, my brother. Forget leadership? Oh, you can talk now. 
Simply because we have not found you like one pound ten. We call you chairman of the weavers group, but we hardly see you at meetings. It's not my doing, A man must have a big stomach and heavy pocket to be a leader of the other men. Tell me, what are you doing here? You people, you are a long way from your village. What are you heading in the bush for? Ashanti. Ashanti. Who is she? From which village? I cannot tell you that now, Akinwale. When the deed is done, I'm sure you get to hear about it. Hmm? It's almost time. Go well. It's a good purchase. You don't know this old woman. Because your mother did not ask you how long you have been saving up money to buy something as big as that meal. You think she did not know it was a gift from a man? Then it means she knows I am old enough to collect gifts from men. That is true. In fact, my mother told me that three days ago. Shopo, no. You mean your mother told you to start collecting gifts from men? No. You, you, <laughs> Like a woman, besides my mate, I already getting married. Another baby. That is true. Yes. Who are you, and why are you following me? My name is Ode Jimmy. So what? I was not following you. I, 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 I was waiting for. Could you please tell them? Tell them what? Tell them what? Do I know you? Ah. Have I met you before? It is well. I'm sorry. Very sorry for coming like this to frighten you. You did not frighten us. We are grown men. Let me talk. Then talk. I, I was waiting for Awero. Who is Awero? There is nobody called Awero among us. Ah, that is Awero. So wait. Let's ask the one you call Awero if she's truly Awero. About to happen. Look down there. Where? Down there. Those girls and women, they are coming from market. All they are from Urilelele village. And the men in the booth are from Aku village. One of the men pay full bright price to one of those girls at Urilelele. The girl refused to go to Bandas. And the people from Aku village think that we have been patient so long. Stop doing it! Stop! Asante marriage. Asante? Yes, Asante marriage. The girl now becomes the wife of the man at Aku village, who pay a bride price. Baba, but if anyone tries to do Asante marriage with my sister, Adetong, eh. me and Ibao, uh. I will fight with them. <laughs> yes, you will fight. But nobody will fight with you. 
<laughs> you will fight alone. Let's go. Believe me, Aweru, that very day I saw you dancing at the festival, my mind told me something, and I said to myself, that is my future wife dancing. Wife? Yes, wife, Aweru. You see, I, I fell in love with you that very day. But I didn't want to tell you. I had to be sure first. So I asked people about you, and everybody spoke well of you. You come from a good home, you are gentle, and I, 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 I will want you to be my wife. You want me to be your wife just like that? No, not just like that. I also come from a good family. A family of honor. We are the children of Obudeli Ameri Wonu. And I know what to be done. And I will do everything. My family will do everything that needs to be done if your answer to me is good. You're only smiling. Talk to me now. Okay. What do you have to say to all I've told you? Um, let me think about it. Does that mean yes? I said I would think. <laughs> I thought I said you aren't as a patient people. We are, we are, we are. We are very patient people. And I'll be patient with you, Aweru. So, when do I see you again? I don't know. My friends are waiting for me. I'll come back and see you soon. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, girls. Don't just stand up with your mouth. You know what to do. I hear you. I'm not doing anything. I want to know where he's going. They told me you are a hunter. Are you now a border policeman? Yes, if you say so. I am now a border policeman. And I want to know what you're doing on this road. I want to know what is pursuing you from Aku village to this place. Pursuing me? Yes. Nothing. Nothing at all. My name is Lapaki. Have you heard? I come from a family of wealth and comfort. So nothing in this world can pursue us. If nothing is pursuing you, then what are you running after? What is it you're running after in Urita village? <laughs> Alright, now let's face it through. We're both running after the same thing at Urita village. But I, Lapadi, <laughs> will get there first. Because I am faster than you in every way. Even a blind man can see that. Why do you fool yourself? Look, even if you hide your ugly face behind a forest of gold, our role will never be yours. She said it with her own mouth that she's mine. Mine! She says it. And um, how did you make her to say that? By promising to give her five tiger skins? When you see her today, ask her to tell you about me. Before you give her another basket of gold and expensive mirrors. Okay. Our widow said she's yours. What about her parents? Do they say she's yours? Or have you paid a bright price to them? Leave this fool and let's go. You wait and see. 
Wait and see whose dowry our parents will accept. Why are we fighting? Let's wait and see. Who is fighting with you? I am telling you to stop bothering a girl who doesn't want you. I said, let's wait and see. <laughs> hey. Look at him. 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 To find Gauda's father. Stay here and make sure you get out under our basket down. You hear me? I hear you, Baba. Uh -huh. I'm coming. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, Walagba. I, I just want to ask for Olawu, maybe. You see him this morning. Olawu. Uh, the house is up here. Uh, here or just somewhere else in the city. He has been living in this city up to 10 years ago. Uh, uh, I think you just come to this city like me too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my friend, I was born here in the city and I don't know anybody called Olawu. What do you call your people? Don't tell me you don't know Rita village, one of the biggest villages in Ileri. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I know Rita, but uh, I don't know anybody called Olawu. Go and ask someone from somewhere else about Olawu. I want to set myself. <sighs> this is a strange place to live in. Nobody knows anybody. Are you looking for someone, Papa? Yes, I'm looking for Olawo, the club river from Murita village. As soon as we arrive here, I thought someone will take me to his house or his shop. And he's living in this city up to 10 years ago. Nobody knows him. What's his strength? <laughs> this is a city, not a small village. How many people can know each other here? I'm not a child. I know the city is big, but what is strange is not to know your neighbor. All right, Baba. Who do you want? Where does he live? Olawo, the cloth weaver from Morita village. I don't know exactly where he lives, but I thought... All right, Baba. If Olawo is a cloth weaver, he is likely to have a shop at Ojaba. Where the weavers have their shops? Thank you. How long will it take us to walk to Ojaba? Walk to Ojaba? Uh -huh. You cannot walk to Ojaba from here. Look, Ojaba is almost half of what we, the distance we have covered from Orita to this place. Is he still in this city? Inside this city. Baba, you said it yourself just now. Even you cannot get direct bus to Ojaba. Uh -huh. You first of all get to Mokola. Then from there, you get another bus to Oje. Uh -uh. Then from Oje, hey, hey. Yeah. with this load, Ah, Baba, uh, you should go alone. 
Leave the boy here with the basket. Then you go and find Lawu. When you get to Lawu, you come back. That will cost you less. Anyway. How much the bus journey cost us? Oh, let me see. To go and come back, that will cost you about two shillings. Eh? Mobeo, two shillings. Uh, I have only five shillings in my pocket. First thing first then, Baba, let me help you talk to some shopkeepers here. Okay. Then they will keep an eye on your boy and the basket. Uh, Thank you. All is well, Adani. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.